5.3 metre polycraft performs beautifully as an offshore hull and there's a lot of reasons why. If we look at the hull, we've got a really nice deep V that then transitions into a 19 degree variable dead rise. It's complemented by some really chunky chines which run down the side of the boat and those deep chines help you perform on, on the water in terms of your steering, getting up on the plane, staying on the plane and then at rest you've got wonderful stability to sit and fish in any offshore waters. They come standard on your trailer, galvanised, skids which are fitted perfectly for the boat which means chuck her in the water dead easy, end of the day drive straight on, off you go home after having a great day on the water. This is the bow of the 5.3 metre polycraft. Standard features include stainless steel bow rails, the roller, stainless steel bollard, a huge anchor well to fit tonnes of rope, anchor chain and anchors, and plenty of space covered with a non-slip surface. The other feature here, which is standard for all the cuddy cabins, is the hatch. Let's go and check out the rest of the boat. Oh. Let's now check out the helm of these great 5.3 metre boats. Option-wise, come with the front runner, cutting cabin which we've got here, and the centre console. Standard features, your screen, your grab rail, we've got standard seats, and obviously a big spacious cabin, which when the fishing gets a little bit too tough, it's time to go and have a little snooze. Ugh. This is the standard cabin which comes with any of the cutty cabin boats. Plenty of space, obviously this is the shell at the moment, so you can fit it out to tailor your exact needs. Really nice features which come with it are the shelf which runs right around it for storage and then under the floor we've got three big wells here to store plenty of stuff. Very functional cabin, great place to sleep when the fishing gets a bit slow as well. We've got a huge amount of deck space in the 5.3 metre boat. Standard features include carpeted floors, they sit on top of a 130 litre underfloor fuel tank. Once again, nice high sides give you plenty of support when you're fishing offshore and a bit of chop. All the top surfaces, floor and side surfaces are covered with non-slip grip so you can run around your boat, bit of water, doesn't matter, you're not falling over. Heaps of deck space, plenty of storage both front and back which means you can keep your surface uncluttered, gives you more space to run around, fish and have fun. There's your deck space of your 5.3 metre boat. Let's look at some of the functionality at the rear of the 5.3 metre boat. A really nice feature is the fold down seat once again standard, you get your backrest and your cushion seats. Now, nice part about this, we can easily detach the cushion, rip it off, see you later, off you go. Now, fold down a couple of legs, and we can totally remove this, so we can sit up flush against the back while we're fishing. As you can see under there, we've got about 200 litres of storage, put heaps of stuff there to keep out of the way while you're fishing, drop that down, and you've got a nice cushion seat to lean against while you're fishing. To complement your fishing at the back, we come standard four rod holders, and two storage bins, keep your fishing area uncluttered. All in all, wonderfully efficient rear part to fish out of, plenty of seating for traveling, there's not much more you want in a good offshore boat. This is the rear pod of the 5.3 meter boat. It comes equipped with two stainless steel boarding rails, optional ski hooks. At the base, we've got two really broad non-slip surface steps. Towards the, the center, we've got a big rear well, catches any water which comes over the back it's fitted with a transom plate. Any water that does get to the bottom of that well gets pumped out by an automated 1,000 gallon per hour pump. Any water that does happen to get down into that inner skin, no need to stress because you've got another automated 1,000 gallon per hour pump. All in all, a very functional rear pod. Operating the 5.3 metre Polycraft at the moment, and she's a dream to drive. With a standing up at the helm, sitting down, it's nice and efficient. I've got my screen to protect me, full visibility, controls all at fingertips. In terms of performance, the V in this hull as well as the dead rise and the strong chines that you get with this boat, I mean she's going to launch herself out of the hull, handle a bit of chop beautifully and comfortably and very importantly without getting you wet. She steers like she's on rails, which is a nice thing when you want fast performance in an offshore boat. And then the other thing is you're not going to lose out on stability because those chines and the rear dead rise mean that you've got wonderful stability at rest. So while you're fishing out there, you're not going to get thrown around walk around the boat without falling over you and your mates. All in all, makes for a pleasurable fishing experience. And I found if you get a comfortable offshore boat, you tend to get out, your mates want to come with you, enjoy it, you get out there more often, and you make the most of what is a wonderful boat. Fishing out of the 5.3 metre boat is a pleasure because of its design. Easy to troll out of with your four rod holders, 
get active out the back with your support, do all sorts of active fishing, running around, you've got all this space to play with. On the other hand, you want to take out three of your mates, do a bit of bait fishing, lift up the seat, put an optional bait board into those two inner rod holders, sit back, relax, and live the dream.